everyone to another Inside Gyros again. Um, today we want I want to talk about the rotor management. Um, uh, we're ready for takeoff runway 36 on Rockledge. Um, we already performed all the run-ups and the and the checklist before. Um, just to not to waste a little bit of time. So I want to explain what's what's going on uh, here how the Tercels and the AG915s uh, do the takeoff. The rotor brake in, uh, in, the, in, in these models, in these platforms, when the rotor goes full forward, as you see right now, it goes full forward, it hits a brake pad. So we are not relating any pneumatic or any, uh, it's a little bit hot here, um, and any pneumatic or any different system. So it's, it's a mechanical, when you go full forward and you're using the strap, go full forward, the, the rotor goes negative forward and hit a brake pad. So this is how we secure the rotor. So before takeoff checklist, pump on, navigation lights are on, we remove the strap, we let the strap drop down, we check our control. So in this moment, as soon as the strap goes down, the rotor is free. It goes from negative to positive position to central position, as it is. All right, so we go forward, we go back, full back, so we check our controls, forward again, and around. Some other models, like the German models or the Spanish models, you have to go full forward to engage the, the nomadic system. Uh, here we don't need that, so um, we remove a little bit the, in, from the equation, the, the having the, the RPMs and going full back. This is what changed a little bit about fixed wind helicopters and gyroplanes. In a, in a fixed wind, you keep it center until you have the speed and you, and you push, you go up. So you keep it in the middle, you keep it steady. In a helicopter, when, you, when, when, you, when, you ha when you're ready to go, you pull your collective, you, you do, the, you, you do the, the, the pedals, and then you go forward. In a gyroplane, as soon as you start moving, your rotor wheel goes fully back. So this is many of the accidents is because of that, because people wait for the, for the speed and pull, and as soon as you pull, the rotor do this, this movement, so that's because you have the flip over. So, let's do the takeoff, um, follow me on the, um, uh, on the procedures, welcome again to another Inside Gyros on Rotor Management. Rockledge traffic, Charlie Plane, November 313, Charlie Max, experimental, taking runway 36 for uh, eastbound departure, Rockledge. Alright, so we're ready, we remove the parking brake, we engage our clutch, really simple. Alright, when we get, when, 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 it, when engage, sorry, we take our control in neutral position and we let pre-rotation get some inertia. So we don't um, put too much pressure on the system. There we go, get 40, 50, very nice pre rotation. We help a little bit with the engine and we start putting some pressure. So we kind of coordinate both and it sounds like wow 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 wow. So it's a clutch. I control it with my hands so I can put the pressure that I want. All right, 130. With 100 RPMs, I can go full on the pressure, start putting some engine, go 10 degrees back on the rotor to create my saucer. Remember, 200 RPMs is our saucer, 190, saucer, 200, we go for the kite, all right, 200, we move one, we start putting some power, full back on the control as you see, there we go, the nose goes up, we just keep it in balance, full power, and we go to our second part of the, of the equation, that is maintaining the, getting the speed for climbing, and let the machines climb, let the machine climb, all right? I'm gonna put some trim here, check our instruments, indications, there we go, we're in the air, and now we are with the, with the umbrella. All right, pressures and temperatures are fine. We climb to us our second sector, that is the 400 feet, that allowed us to keep the, um, to maintain a distance a special distance in case we lost the we lost the engine so we can there we go let me just remove a little bit of the power it's too much power when you when you fly solo all right so what we're going to do today 
We're going to perform some landings in, in, in the Merritt Island Airport, that is a special airport for training. We do not do uh, runway trainings in Rockledge due to the due to the um, to the conditions around because we are in the middle of the city. Uh, we are in the, in the, the, the normally the, the wind is kind of crosswind. We can train a lot; it's not a big deal. But we just try to do all the trainings in the big runway. All right. All right, not that much pressure, 700, 800 feet, we're good. Let me skip it, trim it, and we maintain it as it is, all right? So, Merritt Island, we need to change the frequency. I already checked the AWOS. I already checked the information. It's just to save a little bit of more time. But we have to listen first before we get we enter the, the, the airspace. Although it's, a non, it's, a, it's an uncontrolled airfield, we have to listen first, give it a couple minutes to listen what it is, what's going on. Normally the runway here is the 1-1, one, one. all right? So, first maneuver, what we're going to do today, we just jump directly to the action. The wind behaves different on the rotor. It, it makes some, some things on the rotor, you know, when you have a crosswind landing, when you have a headwind landing. So, Managing your rotor and managing your controls is the most important thing you need to master in a gyroplane. It takes a little bit of time to understand the, the, the movements of the rotor, etc. Alright? So I'm gonna do the standard procedure that is cross midfield the runway and then we're gonna uh, get into the left pattern for runway 1-1. One, one, Alright? When we turn in an airplane or in a helicopter or in a gyroplane, remember Robocop. The Robocop first moved the head and then move the body. This is how we turn in, in, in everything that flies. Because first you clear the area and then you move, all right? First the eyes, then the machine. All right. Merritt Island traffic, gyroplane experimental, November 313, 900 feet. Approaching from the south, uh, midfield crossing to join the left bottom for runway 11. Merritt Island. All right. Now we are already identified ourselves that we know that we are close. We're going to start preparing our landing. For this particular landing, we are going to maintain all the checklists on. If you're doing some training in your runway, just keep all the, all the checklists on, all the pumps on, everything is on. Because you don't want to on and off, on and off, on and off. It doesn't make any sense. All right? Again, we clear the area before we cross midfield. We maintain above 600. Um, uh, I received a suggestion for the for the FISDO in Florida because the gyroplanes have a different performance than fixed winds and, and other aircraft around. Uh, it's better to say where you are and what altitude you are keeping. All right, so they know normally you are lower than the rest of the traffic. That's very important. Merritt Island, gyroplane November 313 experimental, crossing midfield to join the left traffic for runway 11, Merritt Island. All right. The first one, it will be a high rate descent on the final, and because it's a sport pilot, it's a sport license. All right, I'm gonna be interrupted many times here, so because we need to listen. We're not as free as the last time. We're not in the playground. So we check that there's no one around. All right, so. Taking off 1-1 one, one, Merritt Island. All right, there's a traffic taking off in the Merritt Island. On runway 1-1. One, one. All right, this is a sport pilot license. This is a sport aircraft. So we're going to perform some sport maneuvers. That is target practice. We'll set the table up around the left eight, four, five. We'll target, target practice. Target practice means we're going to aim for the numbers first. Merritt Island Gyroplane Experimental 313 is on a left downwind for runway 11, Merritt Island. All right, there was a guy say he was in, in base. We're going to keep the eyes opening for the guy. We don't need to make really long traffics. We we can, uh, if, if, if there is... 5 by 5. So what we're going to perform is a short base and then going to aim with less power and high altitude, high rate descents. This is our first maneuver, all right? All right. Merritt Island, gyroplane, November 313 experimental is turning at left base for runway 11, Merritt Island. All 
right, all. Uh, this is 864 Lima Mike taxiing to whole, uh, taxiing to run up area 11, my darling. Alright, so. You wanna keep always yeah, 90 I'm degrees. Cessna 34 November, departure leg 11, Merritt Island. Alright, there's a guy around. Traffic 175, taxi into the run, run up area near runway 11. Alright, Barrett Island, Jaroplane Experimental 313 on high rate descent for a uh, touch and go runway 11 on final 11. Barrett Island. Alright, on the runway, we cut the engine and let the machine down. Engine completely caught, we let the machine down. Get on, Charlie, Cessna 34 November. The idea of that, left cross wind 11 made out. The idea is to maintain the speed with the nose. And as soon as you're getting close to the runway, you start doing your, your, um, your, your flare. It's flare and you wait, all right? We're gonna aim for the numbers. This is a target practicing, all right? There we go, there we go, there we go. And we wait for it, we wait for it. We land and back, 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 back. Keeping the nose up, keeping the nose up. We're gonna put power again. Don't let the nose go down. There we go. We're in the air. We're in the air. We keep it in the air until we get the speed, the B, the BY speed, and let the machine climb. Let the machine climb. There we go. There we go. Be careful with your power. Don't over boost. Remember, it's five seconds. All right. We're gonna practice again, and we're gonna see what we're doing here. Because the rotor management is how you do the flare, how you do really small inputs. These machines require really small inputs. Some, some other machines require more inputs and they're more strong. This is really easy to move around, all right? All right, just wait for the guy. 90 degrees on my second traffic, on my preceding traffic. All right, we can go. Merritt Island, Jaroplane Experimental 313 on a left crosswind, runway 11. Merritt Island. So, cut the engine, let the machine sink, get your speed, and do the flares in steps. One step and wait, pre-flare, wait, wait for it. Do not stir the paint, <laughs> do not stir the paint. Remember, in a, in a gyro plane, you have an 8.6, 8.7, 8.8, depends on the rotor, control surface. So you're moving a lot of surface. You don't, you don't need to you don't need to make big inputs right so that's that's the magic of the gyroplane all right we do it again um, before we continue again it's important for us to tell you that do not this without any training, uh, do not practice without any any training, the, contact your CFI, contact your PRA, contact the fly school to do these trainings. This is this video is just an example of how cool and how nice it is to fly gyroplates, how the difference are the um, idiosyncrasies of the gyroplane that you can turn literally in your axe that you can just no, okay. fly yeah, really yeah. low, really low, really low and let the machine just hold in the air, you know, this is this is what you want, this is what you want. Flying a straight line is really boring. We can do a lot of stuff with the gyroplane. Again, I hope you're enjoying the the view right now. We are yeah, ready. Yeah, it's not for November, final one one made out. Right, we have the final. One, uh, one good thing to just maintain the distance is as soon as the, 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 the traffic before you is 90 degrees, so you go. In, uh, in other side-by-sides, in other, in other side-by-sides, you, uh, you lost the view from the ground as soon as you, you take off because they, they have the big panel. Here we have the, 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 the windows, all right? So use your windows in, in, if you're if you're flying this kind of machine. Use your windows. If you don't have the windows, you, you need to have a really good perspective of where to go in case you're around you, in, in the lateral, you know, in the sides. Alright, Island Gyroplane 313 is in a short left base uh, with the traffic inside on the runway for for a short final. Alright, Island. All 
Alright, there is an airplane. The aerocopter biplane is now rolling, 1-1. One, one. Uh, Roger, you go ahead, I have you inside. I'm in a, I'm in a long final, I can go really slow. Alright, we got it. So we go for final, and we're gonna do perform the same the same way we did, but with a small variation. We're gonna go with a little bit of power. All right. All right. My plane is in the air. We're gonna let high rate descent. Merritt Island Gyro Plane November 313 Experimental in high rate descent on our runway 11 for a touch and go. Merritt Island. All right, we're gonna let the machine sink. This is a very good target practice in case you, you, you only have a really spot to land in an emergency. So you let the machine just sink as we're as I'm doing it right now. All right, just cut the engine and let the machine sink. Just let the machine think, sink. Maintain our pedals all the time in the middle. This is not working really good, honestly speaking. Burger. And we go for our target. So we aim before the target. We aim before the target, right? So we can make the flare right here. We add a little bit of power. We add a little bit of power, and before the machine is sinking, we just start pulling back, 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 and back, 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 back. Full, full stop landing. There we go, and we go again. Very gentle with the power. Nose will come up. Just right pedal for the torque, and left control to control the wind. There we go. Very good. Nice and easy. We go for the second part of our takeoff, and then let the machine climb. Let the machine climb. You saw all my movements. One, four. All my, all my movements were really light, really small movements, really small movements. Today the wind is really calm, it's a beautiful day in Florida, as usual, here. So, this is what I want.